Sungai Bulu Hospital's pathologist Dr. Shahidan Mohamad Noor today ruled out the possibility that political secretary Teo Beng Hock was strangled before death. Shahidan, however, maintained that Teo's neck bore external pressure marks likely caused before the fatal fall but said he could not specify exactly when the pressure was applied. Shahidan was tasked with conducting the second autopsy on Teo's body on November 22 last year. When asked to clarify, Shahidan said the pressure he meant was any force applied to the area which could be either hands, a blunt object or any force. During cross-examination by the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission's MSCC legal advisor, Dato Abdul Razak Musa, Shahidan also said it was most probable that Teo was not beaten or strangled before falling to his death. Shahidan said Teo's skull injuries were likely caused by the fall as Teo has landed on his feet before finally falling on the right-hand side of his body. In saying that, Shahidan disagreed with Thai expert Dr. Pontip Rajanasuna's early opinion that Teo skull was likely beaten with a blunt object. He noted that the cement floor Teo landed on could also be considered as blunt object. Meanwhile, the court also fixed April 20 to hear the evidence of Thai forensic expert Dr. Pontip Rajanasunan as well as April 26 and 27 for British expert Dr. Peter Wensis on the second postmortem. Teo had been questioned by the Selangor MSCC on July 15, 2009 and was later found deaf on the next day on the fifth floor landing near the tower block of Plaza Masalam which then housed the state MSCC office.